But one nice thing, I actually wasn't even planning this, but we got kind of lucky. Heart's Desire landed at reset. So we'll be opening all 100 on here today. Attila, William, Guan, I need one more. I guess Constantine, because sometimes he is a commander that gets added. I can always change this out. Uh, Attila, William, Guan, and Constantine. This is primarily for Bastions as well as getting some extra skills into William and Guan. Because, um, you know, I'm decently close on both. Not super close, but, you know, if I get lucky, I might be able to put some more skills into them. So we'll go ahead and open up all 100 on this account. Maybe we'll get lucky, hopefully. All right, starting off with Saladin, Attila, and William. I really don't care about resources or stars whatsoever. I mean, it's just not really what I need at all. I just need the sculptures. But let's see. Hopefully we can get some luck here. One more Guan, another Saladin. So far, not the greatest. All right, we got three more William. William, I, I hope I can put some more skills into. Uh, him and Guan are the closest ones I have to putting more skills in. Saladin as well is pretty close to getting one more skill, which will help me with Bastions as KVK, hopefully. So that's kind of why I have him chosen. All right, we got 50 left here. Still no full ones yet. We got two Constantine and a William. Usually I have better luck getting full commanders. Two more Guans. All right, we got 30 more here. Come on, this is horrible luck. Holy crap. Give me something here. Give me a full one. There we go. Thank you. William too. Awesome. That was really good. Holy crap. Jeez. So that's 12 William plus two Saladin. If I get one full Saladin here, that would be phenomenal. We got two more here. 20 more keys. Come on, give me something good. Give me a full Saladin to Constantine. All right, one more. Last one. Give me full salad in here. And no. Well, we got three salad in there. I'll take that. But we'll go ahead and go on to some more chests here because we'll be getting keys from these chests. So I don't want to open keys and then get more keys. So we'll go ahead and open some chests here first. Uh, let's see where we want to start. We can start with the Crusader supply chest. So we got 140 of these. Let's go ahead and open those up. This gives you a lot of credits, which is nice. Um, a lot of research speed ups, which I really don't care about. If those were like healing, that'd be really nice. One gold key, some silver keys. The AP you get from this is also really, really solid, as well as the gems. I mean, a thousand gems here, 14, 500 AP pots, another 14,000. Um, so that's pretty solid right there. 21,000 AP plus another 200 gems there. Pretty solid. I mean, I've done a video on those chests on my farm accounts where I donated a ton of gems. And the results weren't actually that bad. I got a ton of AP and it actually was worth it. So if you are thinking about doing gems, I on your main account, no. On your farm accounts, could be pretty good. We'll go ahead and open up the Lucerin chest here. Oh, not horrible. All right, well, let's go ahead. We're going to do magic chests. This is actually four months worth of magic chests. So like when you're doing your daily objectives, you get a magic chest every single day you complete it. So this is about four months worth of daily objectives finishing up, um, which if you're not doing this every single day, I don't know what you're doing because you get so many rewards from this. Plus you get a lot of rewards from these chests. So let's open up four months worth here. J6300 AP, got five teleports, 31 hours of speed ups, some more teleports there, five army expansions, and then two more target teleports. Pretty solid. I mean, the army expansions are good. I don't really need any, but the AP is really solid. I like that. That gives us quite a bit of AP. All right, let's do the supply boxes. We've got 3,829 supply boxes. Go ahead and open these up. 30 gold keys, 146 silver keys. Good amount of healing speed ups. Kind of forgot you got healing in here. Plus universal, plus training and some research. Obviously research I don't care about. I'm just glad I don't get building. Oh. <laughs> I spoke too soon. I didn't even see it. Plus building speed ups. All right. Well, that kind of sucks, but you know, everything else is pretty solid. Treasure of the Warrior Queen. Let's go ahead and open these up. 1538. What do you guys think? Are we going to get a legendary commander sculpture? It's always, it's always the bet. How many days worth is this? We got 1538. 
divided by 12, that is 128 days worth. So pretty much the same amount we just opened with the magic chest, about four months worth of the treasure of the warrior queen. So 1500, here we go. And nope. <laughs> 534 ethel sculptures, thousand keys, and then two gold keys. All right, I forgot, can you do, oh, you can do sell in here. Oh, what do I need from that? I need like 11 more. I forgot you could do this. That's sick. I'm glad I saw this because otherwise I wouldn't have done this yet. All right, now we just have to hope that we land it here. Oh my gosh, bro. Rip. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, anything else to open here? I mean, the keys, obviously. Armaments. We got armaments today, too, guys. Don't don't worry. We're not going to forget about that. Let's open some of these because we're going to get keys from these as well. So let's first open up the materials. I'm getting so unlucky today. Like, holy crap. But let's open up some materials here first. Pretty solid. These are just like the dailies, basically, that you get every single day. All right, more bone than I wanted there, but got 60 Shadow Legion chests. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Lots of leather. I need a lot of leather too, so that's really good. All right, we got a bunch of these chests here too, so let's open these up. Got 26 Golden Kingdom chests. <laughs> All right, 26 crystal keys. All right, 65 Golden Kingdom chests. That's better. All right, we got three chest blueprints, three legs, and then two weapons, as well as 62 crystal keys. All right, Ian's Ballad's chest, here we go. One helmet, and then 17 crystal keys, all right. 95 Soroli chest. One helmet, one chest, and then one leg, as well as 92 more crystal keys. Got the, I think this is the new chest that we just got. 15 more from Soroli. We got one leg, one glove, and 13 crystal keys. Then, all right, one more chest, 14 more crystal keys. I don't really care about these because I'm not going to do anything with it, but we'll open them up. All right, that gives us a pretty good spot with these. We can craft full chest, glove, helmet, weapon, pretty solid. That leaves us with 857 crystal keys, 378 gold keys, and 4,620 silver keys. So let's go ahead and open these up. We'll start with the silver keys and open them all up. 4,620. Here we go. I'm always afraid when it lags like that, like it's going to crash. Because that's happened before. All right, 88 hours. 1500 five minute speed ups. Don't care about the buildings. Don't care about resources. Don't care about any of those. <laughs> All right. 378 gold keys. See if we can expertise a couple commanders here. I'm not sure if we'll be able to, but we'll take a look. All right. 118 60 minute speed ups. Don't care about any of that. Don't care about those. All right. So the ones we don't have expertise are Pyrus, Phyrus, Thutmos, uh, Ragnar. I think we just expertise um, Mulan. Don't have Met Met expertise yet, but he's close. Who else we got? Another Phyrus, Ragnar. Julius Caesar was close. I think all these are expertise. Let's go take a look. All right, looks like we can max our Caesar. Boom. Never going to use them. <laughs> yeah, this skill is uh, currently in our KVK. So let's see if I get lucky. Oh, there we go. Perfect. All right, we got to do our crystal keys. 857 crystal keys. Here we go. We got a Shios. Could be worse. One legendary. All right. I didn't get wrecked completely. 
All right, 335 hours of speed ups. Pretty decent amount of uh, materials here. I kind of wrecked on Ebony, but we got one legendary. I guess it's a win, right? Kind of, <laughs> a little bit. These are basically just all credits. Uh, that sucks, but one Shios. I mean, I don't use that, but maybe in the future. I don't know, who knows? All right. What can we even get for credits with all that crap? A lot. We have all these ethyl heads. 2.8 million. Yeah, a lot. I gotta save these though for the next uh, engineering commanders that come in the game. I have like so much stuff here. Let's go ahead. We'll start off with the random ones. Because I don't know what I'm gonna get from these, but. Probably nothing good. Bulk recycle. It's nice that you can do that. Oh, I should probably not do that just in case I accidentally recycle something good. Holy crap, those stats are actually not horrible. 6.8, that might actually be good. The rest aren't, but. All right, last 10 here. I didn't think those were gonna be good. All right, nothing good there. All right, we got nine legendaries. Let's see what we get here. Oh, jeez, okay. Start here, no. Oh, this is like that new one. Whoa. Focus fire. Oh man, that means it just reset it. And the stats are not good. That sucks. Hmm. Haste? Oh, it doesn't matter. Bellicose. Would this count as smite damage, Bellicose? Whoa, are you kidding me? Those stats are actually good. Why couldn't that be on this one? I don't know if it's even gonna be usable, but... I guess maybe I'll save that for like, I don't know, trying to reinforce stuff maybe. The rest can go though. All right, well, we got 111 epic formation choice chests. So let's start off with these. All right, going wedge. This is where it should be good. Hopefully. Wary. No, that's not good. I'm just gonna assume that none of these are gonna be good because they're not gonna be upgrades for me. So all the purple ones, I will just recycle. If it has like a double, I don't even know if they can have double inscriptions, but if it has a good inscription, I might look at it. But otherwise, it's like, I don't really care. Because it's not going to be an upgrade. Nothing good there. So far, I'm getting kind of wrecked on these. Damn. Just recycling everything. The damage wording is so weird, I agree. Why am I getting wrecked here? And as I say that, I get, holy crap, I get five. I was literally just like thinking, I watched Chiskul's video where he got like three on every single epic opening and I'm not getting like any. Finally got some, all right. Decent infantry health, but. 3.3, if only that had an armament on it, or an inscription. Vengeful. Gains an extra 2 rage for every 10% of its unit, units that's lost. That's not great. Hardy. That's pretty good. I like Hardy, but I have to re-roll that. I don't think Vengeful is even good. Oh, I'll save it just in case in the future. 
Recycle the rest. All right, we got 41 left here. Just disable it. I don't care anymore. I also have to be careful. Trash. Alright. Last 11 here. Alright. Now that is just perfect. Gold gathering, troop load, damage to barbarians. Can't do better than that. <laughs> Let's try an arch. Screw it. All right, let's see where we are at for our pity. If you guys didn't know how to check this, you can actually see how many legendary armaments you have to acquire for the specific formation before you get like a pity, like good arm or good inscription, I should say. Which is why there's like a strategy to keep one in your dispatch, which I have not done, but the odds of being able to do that are very, very slim. So let's start off with two so we have an even number. Go wedge. Oh, good attack, but... And like... For one of these to be worth using, it has to have like 3.5, 3.3, and like 3.4 stats for it to be even usable for me if it does not have an inscription. Evasive. Oh, it has decent defense. Pulverize. Eh, it's not great. No inscriptions. Come on. It's like the lowest stats you can get. All Siege. Still no inscriptions, my goodness. I'm getting a lot of these coins or whatever. Oh, double inscription there. All right. Hopefully it's good. <laughs> Pacifier. War hungry. Nope. Ward. Oh, that's good. The stats are horrible, but we will save that. Rest can go. Once we get to 70, we'll do seven at a time for lucky number seven. Oh, that's actually decent. Oh, 1.5. Never mind. Not gonna be an upgrade. Valiant. For infantry attack, okay. We'll save it just in case. Oh wait, we're gonna do seven. All right, seven at a time. Here we go. Whenever the wielder's troop is hit by any type of basic attack, has a 10% chance to deal additional damage to the attacker every second for two seconds. Damage factor 50. That's not great, but we'll save it. Those stats are good. I just wish I had a inscription on it. Italics. Oh. Increase the defense plus 3.4% defense and march speed. Okay. I'll have to take a look at like what my inscriptions actually look like because I have not looked in since last KVK. Oh, 
embattled. Whenever you take skill damage, gain 50 rage. Eh. Oh, double inscription. Come on, be something good. Come on. Hurried. Ugh. That's decent, Breaker. But no stats whatsoever. I mean, I do have a lot of transmutation stones, which is an upside, but... Another double. Jeez. Brawler. More skill damage, okay. Oh, Archer Health with Robust and March... Holy crap, that's actually solid. That's actually really good. That might actually be an upgrade for my Archers. Although my Archer gear or armaments are very, very good. But we will transmute that for sure. That was really good. Honestly, might even keep the march speed on that, because, I mean, you know our archers need it. Vengeful. I don't think that's great. Told you seven's a lucky number. Maybe it is. We've gotten some pretty good luck with it. It's funny, because I was actually number seven in baseball. <laughs> More normal damage? No. Don't need that. These stats have to be really good to be able to stick. And even that, like, even if I got, like, 3 plus percent of everything, I still don't think it'd be an upgrade from something with an inscription. Like, honestly. All siege stats. Cav defense. We'll save that. Oh! Boiling blood. Wielder's troop gains a 2% boost to skill damage dealt. Whenever the wielder's troop deals direct damage to a current target, their troop has a 30% chance to reduce all incoming skill damage by 5% for the next 3 seconds. That's pretty solid. No stats, but <laughs> we can reroll it. That was really good. All right, last seven here. Come on. All archer stats, but not going to be good enough. Same with that. I'll save it just in case we can add an inscription at some point, but... Tremors. Hmm. We can save it. All right, well, that was all of it. That was actually pretty good. All right, so somebody was asking about gear and commanders. I'll show commanders again real quick, just so you guys can see. But this is the lineup for tomorrow. So we got Zhu Cherman. Got a Max Cherman still. We got Guan Scipio. We got Hukabing and William. We got Joan of Arc and Nevsky. And then we got Luce and Alex. So that's what we'll be running. Let's actually add what we want to do for our, what you call it, whatever these are called. <laughs> Obviously we're putting more normal attack damage on my Luce, it's a no brainer. Let's see, on my archers, we're going to add Kira for sure, we'll save that. See, who do we want to get more march speed? Probably Guan. I feel like Guan will need more march speed a bit. And healing factor is pretty nice. I feel like putting this on high DPS commander is better. Oops, I don't want that. Nope. I think we'll do that. And then this. 
Guan needs to be benched. <laughs> Alright, so this is what we got. We got... Oh, it doesn't let us see it. So... 25% more normal damage for Luce Alex. We got... 25% more no more damage to troops with less than 25% or holy crap, I can't read. Commander's troop deals 25% more damage to troops with less than 50% units remaining on my Joan and Nazgi. Arguably, you could put that on Luce, but I'll put it on them for now. We got um, Boudicca's skill. This is whenever a commander's troop launches a basic attack, has a chance to gain bonus damage. For one second, 5% chance of 50, 3 for 100, and then 2% for 150. He, they're pretty fast, so it's a pretty good march to add that on. And then Guan, we got some extra march speed. So that will be whenever this commander's troop exits combat, gains 50% march speed for 10 seconds, and recovers some units, which is great for Guan. And then for our archers, we got 5% more attack and 5% more defense. Oh yeah, try my luck in the inscription shop. Let's max him first. So, from Prime, 1,838 gold heads, 21 out of 30. Let's do it. Jeez, 5151. Five, Odds of that are very slim. Jeez. Four skill isn't worth it? I think it is. His expertise is worth it too. Plus, when you have 1800 gold heads, and even after maxing two commanders, you still have a lot of gold heads, Worth maxing commanders. <laughs> there we go. Arm Prime. Oh yeah, I have 406. So we can buy two of these. So hopefully we get lucky. Let's see. Now we got a shard. Whenever the wielder uses an active skill, their troop has a 30% chance to gain a shield for three seconds. Okay. On the scroll. At least it's legendary. It's my first legendary one. Let's open the other one. Eight transmutation stones. Are you kidding me? Dude. The other thing is... What are they called? These guys. I got four of these iconic crystals. So, these are all iconic. Missing one there. All iconic. Two. Am I really only missing two? One. Two. I'm really only missing two? So now I don't even... What? Now I have a surplus? <laughs> Bro, I mean, that's not a bad problem to have, but that kind of sucks that I bought one then. All right, so everything's iconic, I believe, right? Let's take a look in here. Everything should be iconic. Yeah, everything is iconic. Thank you guys. Have a great rest of your night and I will see you tomorrow.